Welcome back to Let's Play Skyrim Special Edition Legendary Hardcore Mode. Farkas and I are just outside of Whiterun at the at the wagon. And we've established that we can't finish Dustman's Cairn. It's too hard on Legendary at my current level and my current lack of equipment. I'm just not equipped well enough for it. So, we're going to make a little trip. First thing we're going to do is run over to Windhelm real quick and talk to Aventus Aretino. And then we're going to take a carriage to Riften. Normally, on any other difficulty, I would just walk this path up to Riften because there's a lot of cool things to do here. There's at least two dragons to kill on the way and a bunch of other useful stuff. But at my current level, I kind of want to avoid dragons as much as possible. And I still feel like we may get jumped by one when we land in Riften anyways. So we're going to do that. Uh, our goal is to get to Riften and start a bunch of quests around that area and go see the Dawn Guard. And then we'll work our way back to Iberstead. And maybe by the time we've done all that, we'll be powerful enough to go finish Dustman's Cairn. Uh, Hilgren's tomb is a place that a guard told us about. That may be another one of those places that we, on our way back from Iverstead, <coughs> we might go stop there. But for now, Need a ride? Where do you want we're going to gonna hire the carriage. Climbing back, and we'll be off. This is the only kind of fast traveling I do. The normal kind of fast traveling is turned off by Frostfall. And I keep it turned off. This is part of the reason I like to play this game, is walking around from place to place. But one of the reasons we want to go see Aventus so fast is because on our way to Riften, when we get to Riften, of course, we're going to have to take care of the uh, orphanage lady. But Aventus offers us an opportunity to fast travel. Uh, because, as we all know, when the Dark Brotherhood kidnaps us, they're going to take us over by Fulgunther. And... Highgate Ruins and those places over there at north of Morthal. So it's a really great, convenient, fast way to get over there. There's at least three ruins that you want to uh, tackle over there. You want to get the Horn of Jurgen Wind Collar, you want to get one of the, the necklaces, and you want to get the Storm Call shout. And so the easiest thing to simply do is um, instead of walking over there or taking a carriage to Solitude, is when you come back and see Aventus after you update him, the next time a courier is going to come give you the note, and then the next time you sleep, you're going to end up in North of Morthal. It's a really convenient way to get across the map. When you don't fast travel, you learn all these little tricks about them. That's a really quick way to get there, just like there's a really quick way to end up in Markarth. If you talk to Sam... And this is the only thing I want to do here in this town, is talk to Aventus. I'm not really interested in doing the Blood on the Ice quest. Um, it's, even with the, even with the unofficial Skyrim patch mod, it's still one of the buggier quests in the game. But I may change my mind, it's night time, so... We may just wander in there and... You come here where you're not wanted. You eat our food, you pollute our city with your stink, and you refuse to help the storm folks. This guy I want to punch in the face already. Racist bastard. I take it... Side, because it's not our fight. Hey, maybe the reason these Grayskins don't help in the war is because they're Imperial spies. Maybe you need to be knocked down a few bits there, but you're not. The Black Sacrament, which is really nice because we're going to be able to get a human heart here. 
I need the human heart to make the Daedric Reaper armor later on. So I'm going to collect those and hoard them and save them. I like Aventus. He's so happy to see us. Please, how long must... Finally! I, it worked! I knew you'd come! I just knew it! I did the Black Sacrament over and over with the body and the things. And then you came! An assassin from the Dark Brotherhood! You don't have to say anything. There's no need. You're here, so I know you'll accept my contract. My mother, she... she died. I... I'm all alone now. So they sent me to that terrible orphanage in Riften. Honor Hall! The headmistress is an evil, cruel woman. They call her Grella the kind. Well, she's not kind. She's terrible to all of us! So I ran away and came home and performed the Black Sacrament. Now you're here, and you could kill Grella the kind! There we go. Please hurry. To be honest, I'm kind of lonely here. As much as I hated getting sent to Honor Hall, I really miss my friends here. You know, it's the children in Skyrim look a little better too, not just the ladies. That's a a mod. I really like that mod. They don't they don't look so strange anymore. Rose, head mistress of Honor Hall orphanage, but not for long. <laughs> That's right, kid. Not for long. Frost salts. Love it. Hello, this is Chris. Alright, thank you. Sorry for that little abruption there. I'm going to edit this video, and you probably noticed that the screen faded out and came back in, or whatever technique I had to do. Somebody, somebody called, you get interrupted making these videos. I try not to, but not much I can do about it. Sometimes life just interferes. So, we have that quest. Um, it's late at night, and we're hungry. And this place is really cold. So we're going to wander over to the inn. Although I guess, I guess I'll start this quest. Come down here and talk to these people. Oh, it's not started yet. Great. Does this quest start? What triggers this? I thought just showing up in town would trigger it. But there's a whole bunch of nightshade here, so I love that. Later on, when I can actually cast destruction spells without burning all my magicka, having some fortified destruction potions is going to be really important. So, let's move over here. Say hi to the innkeeper. Go get a little rest. Get a little food and a little drink. I need to. I need. Ha ha. That's funny. I'm going to have to make some food here because I'm running out. I have the cheap stuff like cheese and apples, but I don't have any meals. I pretty much eat all my Welcome. meals. Let me know if you want anything. Uh, Oops. Here I am. Up on the menu and not clicking things. I think I've got a clean around here. Somewhere. I still can't believe it's this here's cool. Candle Hearth Hall. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Have you seen that shrine of Azura? 
They say the Dark Elves built it after they fled from Morrowind. Sight to see. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. The Shrine of Azura. I'm going to want to go there. I really want the Black Star as soon as I can get it, but <coughs> it's going to be incredibly difficult to get at this stage of the game. Alright, what time is it? Oh my god, it's 2 o'clock in the morning? Alright, we're going to get kind of a late start here the next day, but... That carriage ride was really slow. But at this point in the game, riding the carriage is a little safer than anything else. That looks like Pocahontas. It's not, though. I still can't believe this bell is gone. Hungry. Woke up hungry. That's what happens when you get in at 2 o'clock in the morning and then you eat. Right before you go to bed. Not to mention, steel armor doesn't have very good coverage. You have a lot of bare skin exposed. I really like the way Chesco has created Frostfall. He's gone in carefully and, and uh, set up each armor with a coverage rating. And he's done a really good job with it. Like, if you're wearing orcish armor, you're really well covered. But if you're wearing steel, not so much. It's one of the reasons that I do like getting a hold of the full steel plate or the orc armor is uh, for the coverage. And of course later on, ebony armor is pretty good for that too. By the time I get to ebony armor, danger armor the one usually a vampire, so coverage ends up being a little less important. You still take penalties to being cold, but you won't die, which is nice. So let's head north. Need a ride? Yep. Take me to the hold. Where do you want to go? Let's see if this takes all day. Climb and back, and we'll be off. I can't wait here forever. Aren't you in a hurry? You've never been to Rift. Be sure to visit the Black Briar Reef. It marks a dad to forget all about the long trip. <laughs> well, it would be a better idea to give me a few mugs of that before we start the trip. There's almost nowhere in life that an open bar wouldn't be making it better. Like waiting at the subway. Why is there not an open bar there? silly goat. And it's raining. And it's 7 o'clock at night, so yeah. That took us most of the day. Too lazy to walk, eh? I am well, too lazy. Found the right place. It's not so much laziness as it is. I, it, it's, there it is! I knew it! You always get assaulted by one of these guys. Hmm. Darn it. Okay, well... I'm going to save the game because I have a feeling I'm going to die. Oh, right there over the save game where we previously killed the dragon. So here he comes. <coughs> he doesn't always engage. Dwarven bow. But when he does, he'll pay. Where is he? Sometimes he'll just circle around three or four times and then fly off. 
this looks like that's what that one's gonna do. Alright. So that's not so bad. <laughs> Later on in the game I wanna engage all those guys, but right now, hmm, not really outfitted well for that. So we're in town. Cards. Hold that. Before I let you into Rift, that's funny. You need to pay the visitors back. Those guys were For the privilege trying to engage the dragon as well. What does it matter? All right, keep your voice down. You want everyone to hear you? I'll let you in. Just let me unlock the gate. Rift and I like this town. I like the way it's set up. I don't really like the thieves guild, but the gates unlocked. You can head inside when you're ready. Oh, they're reforming a dawn guard. <clears throat> I'd much prefer to destroy the thieves guild, but they don't offer you that option. There are mods to do it, but they're kind of goofy. So, so we'll join the thieves guild because nothing brings me greater satisfaction than taking care of Mercer Frey. I really do like to whack him. I had another run-in with a thief's spear. Be careful. The thieves guild has Maven Blackbriar at its back. One snap of her fingers end up in Rifton jail. Worse. They represent the reason I'm here. I can't just ignore them, Aaron. I know. I just don't want you to leave. You're, the only You're a stranger thing here, too, huh? I've been adventuring across Cambrian since I was a fresh faced young woman, barely able to swing a blade. My travels have taken me from High Rock to Vellenwood, elsewhere to Morrowind, and all points in between. Many years ago, I lost my blade, in Severed, within a Tremor ruin. I took it as a sign that I was wasting my days in search of money. You and I are alike. We seek challenge and great fortune. But for me, that's where the similarities end. You see, Riften is my great beast to be slain, and my fortune comes from gratitude and trust. To call it a guild is ridiculous. How can people who would betray one another over a gold coin be considered part of an association? They're the worst kind. Even the dark brotherhood abides by a strict set of rules and tradition. These thieves are just rabble. What do you think? You know, I'm beginning to respect you. Other than Aaron, you seem to be the only other person I've met I might be able to trust. Since we share the same opinion of them, let me warn you that they're recruiting others to join their guild, and you should be cautious. It's been difficult. I've taken the burdens of this city's problems upon myself, and I keep running into impossible obstacles. Corruption, lies, and deceit are the order of the day. If it wasn't for Eren, the young man who saved my life, I think I'd already have given up long ago. It was Aaron who found me dying outside of a Dwemer ruin. <coughs> if he hadn't brought me here and nursed me back to health, I would have died. When my strength returned and he told me about the problems plaguing Defton, I decided fate brought me here for a reason. So I stayed. Safe travels. So give me her quest later. Really gets she certainly looks a lot better well, now. Well, my friend. How can I help you? I don't know you. You and Riften looking for trouble? Yeah, well, I got news for you. There's nothing to see here. Last thing the Black Briars need is some stranger sticking their nose where it doesn't belong. The Black Briars have Riften in their pocket and the Thieves Guild watching their back, so keep your nose out of their business. Me? I'm Maul. I watch the streets for them. If you need dirt on anything, I'm your guy, but it'll cost you.
suit yourself. I'll be at the docks if you change your mind. Come on, you think you're so tough. I'm really getting tired of your business. When you borrowed the money, you said you'd pay it back on time and put double the usual fee. I know I did. But how was I to know the shipment would get robbed? Next time, keep your plans quiet, and nothing would have happened to you. What? Are you telling me you robbed it? Why? Why are you doing this to me? <clears throat> Look, Shadra, last warning. Pay up or else. All I care about is the gold. Everything else is your problem. I kind of wish Chandra would give me a cheap horse instead of a couple of invisibility potions. <laughs> what do you want? I owe a great deal of money to someone and I think they cheated me. I don't know what to do. I was able to work out a deal with the stables and light to sell me some of their tack and harnesses. I borrowed some gold from Sapphire to pay for the shipment, but it got robbed before it even arrived. Now Sapphire wants her money back and if I don't pay her, I think she's going to kill me. You will? Oh, thank you. Be careful with Sapphire. She mixes with all sorts of nasty people. Yes, she does. Alright, so those things are out of the way. I need to eat and then sleep. as well talk to the priest while we're here. I'm not going to pay for an amulet of Mara right this second. People of Riften, heed my words. The return of the dragons is... Oh, I love the sound of rain on this roof. Mere coincidence. People work. I need to deliver a message to Sydney Blackrock. Constant inebriation. Well... Might as well start the frost quest. I need someone to deliver a message to Sydney Blackrock. Ah, well, I recently approached City Blackbriar about buying Frost, one of the finest breeding horses in Skyrim. He agreed to sell. I paid City half the cost of Frost up front, but before he could deliver, Naven had him locked up. City believes this exempts him from our deal. It does not. I want you to talk to City for me. Then I want you to bring me Frost and the lineage papers that prove the horse's worth. Good man, you won't regret it. Head to the Riften Jail and talk to Sibby. Get him to tell you where Frost and his lineage papers are and bring them to me outside Riften. You'll be well paid for your time. I'll meet you outside of town. Never done an honest day's work in your life for a long time. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. If you're ready to try to the Empire, I hope you might have it much because you've got the coin, you'll want them here. Here, take a look at this. Some of the Jarl's men came by and left this bounty letter. Kill the bandit leader located at Milheim. Ooh. Okay. Sure thing. It's here for a day. I'll show you to the right this way. You look like the new trick. What do you say, sir? Get some sleep, and I'll go handle Brynjolf's scheme tomorrow. Also go down to the docks and talk to the Argonian. Oh, 
honest day's work in the life for all that coin you can. Where are you? I'm saying you've got the coin, but you didn't earn a septum of it honestly. I can tell. It's all about sizing up your mark, lad. The way they walk, what they're wearing. It's a dead giveaway. Oh, but that's where you're wrong, lad. Wealth is my business. Maybe you'd like a taste. I've got a bit of an errand to perform, but I need an extra pair of hands. And in my line of work, extra hands are well paid. Simple. I'm going to cause a distraction. You're going to steal Medesi's silver ring from a strong box under his stand. Once you have it, I want you to place it in Grand Shea's pocket without him noticing. There's someone that wants to see him put out of business permanently. That's all you need to know. I'll be out in the market all day, from 8 in the morning until 8 in the evening. Meet me then, if you've still got the stomach for it. I'll be all right. Come morning. There's that little bit of business. Okay, La. Ready to make some coin. Not quite yet. Working at the Rifton Fishery is tough. This is one of the most important quests, especially early in the game. I just have no idea if we can get through the dungeon and get to the end. But the bonus to smithing, uh, by the time you stack the fact that I have the warrior stone on, and if you're well rested for another 10% plus this... Take my advice. Don't listen to that talk of the space down in the then you almost end up with about a 50% bonus, close to 50% bonus for smithing, and that's, that's important. I hear her muttering. I wish I had, uh... Oh, there she is. You, you must take the lexicon. Free me of my burden. The memories, I cannot stand them. You must take them away, return them to a Monchenzel. You must take the lexicon from me. Please, take it now. You must bring it to a Monchenzel. In the West, return it to them. It must go back. So there we go. Unfathomable depths. I feel like I'm trying to say that word, I feel like a mega mind. Unfathomable. Unfathomable. <sighs> I'm your space dad. So that is a quest I want to undertake relatively soon. I'm beginning to think leaving Mornhold was a mistake. <laughs> it might have been, buddy. Alright, one more thing here before we end this video. Let's see if we can pull this off. I don't have... I may not be able to do this. Okay, Lon. Ready to make some co Good. Wait until I start the distraction. Then show me what you're made of. Everyone. Everyone, gather round. I have something amazing to show you that demands your attention. Guards. You need to Lots of guards. Seems like it'd be worth it to steal all the rest of that stuff, eh? Take 
Simple misunderstanding. My ring. Where is it? There it is. Our gift. Well, I see that my time is up. Come back to Farkas is over there hiding. Time. Oh, Looks like I chose the right person for the job. And here you go. Your payment. Just as I thought. Oh, I like payment. The way things have been going around here. It's a relief that our plan went off without a hitch. Yeah. My organization's been having a run of bad luck. But I suppose that's just how it goes. But never mind that. You did the job, and you did it well. Best of all, there's more where that came from. If you think you can handle it. All right, then. Let's put that to the test. The group I represent has its home in the Ratway beneath Rivlin. A tavern called the Ragged Flag. Get there in one piece, and we'll see if you really got what it takes. Well, all right then. We will. So, all right. I'll entertain you a bit more. Go on. We're gonna call an end to this episode. What is it with you and all these questions? <laughs> Very well. Ask away. Don't have any. All right. What are you talking about? So, an end of this one, and in the next episode, we'll go visit the Ratway, and then we'll head out towards the Dawn Cart. Thank you for watching. We'll see you on the next episode.